Hello and welcome everybody. Today we will show you some mind tricks that will make you learn anything fast. I use these tricks and it works well for me. It let me learn many new skills in a short period. I also become so much fast in learning my lessons and I save it a lot of time. These tricks are very simple. If you integrate them in your learning process, then you will become a person who learn quickly. Before we get started, don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive all our news. 1. Connect what you learn with something you know. The more you can relate new concepts to ideas that you already understand, the faster you will learn the new information. According to the book Make It Stick, many common study habits are counterproductive. They may create an illusion of mastery, but the information quickly fades from our minds. Memory plays a central role in our ability to carry out complex cognitive tasks, such as applying knowledge to problems we haven't encountered before and drawing inferences from facts already known. By finding ways to fit new information in, with pre-existing knowledge, you will find additional layers of meaning in the new material. This is will help you fundamentally understand it better, and you will be able to recall it more accurately. 2. Use mnemonic devices. These are basically memory tools that give meaning and organization to a random group of words or concepts. They could be an acronym, book for buy oranges and grapes, an exaggerated visualization, imagining a massive stethoscope to remember a doctor's appointment, or a ream to recall a co-worker's name. I had remember Ted has a giant forehead. Memory champions also love chunking or picking a large amount of information into more manageable nuggets. Say you have to memorize these numbers. It's much easier to do as a phone number like this 3 Practice every day what you learn. A strong work ethic makes a real impact on the brain. In 2004, a study published in Nature found that the act of juggling produced more gray matter. When people stopped juggling, the gray matter disappeared. There wasn't anything special in juggling itself, just the repetition. Neuroscientists call this process running. It refers to the new pathway that are carved by doing an act over and over again, to the point where it sticks around for good. In other words, skills follow the use it or lose it principle. 4. Play brain games. Puzzles, Sudoku, and crosswords may improve memory and delay brain decline. If you improve your memory, then it will be easier for you to learn anything faster. Playing games can activate synapses in the whole brain. There is a little evidence they will boost your performance at more general tasks, like remembering where your car is parked. A 2011 study showed that participants who played a computer game called Double Decision for 6 years improved their concentration so much that they had a 50% lower rate of car accidents. If you want to improve your memory and learn faster, I guess to you to try an online brain training program like Lumosity, which neuroscientists from Harvard, Stanford, and the University of California have used in their own studies. Its creators claim that 97% of users improve their memory in just 10 hours of playing time. 5. Skills are easier to pick up as an individual parts. If you want to learn the guitar, don't think about performing all the parts at once. Set the smaller, more measurable goal of learning a few easy shorts, how to strum correctly, and how to put those shorts together. Over time, the accumulation of those tinier skills will adapt to the whole ability to play guitar. It's a technique that applies to mechanical learning as well as fact-based lessons. 6. Writing down what you have learned helps cement it in your mind. If you want to translate information to knowledge, research suggests you should be writing down what you learn by hand, while taking notes by hand is slower and more cumbersome than typing. The act of writing out the information fosters comprehension and retention. Reframing the information in your own words helps you retain the information longer, meaning you will have better recall and will perform better on tests. A 2014 study found that students who took notes on pen learned more than students who typed notes on their laptops. Over a battery of tests, the pen and paper group were more adept at remembering facts, sorting out complex ideas, and synthesizing information. Researchers say the physical act of touching pen to paper creates a stronger cognitive link to the material than merely typing, which happens far too quickly for attention to take place. Writing forces you to confront ideas head-on, which leads them to stick with you over time. 7. Have effective note-taking skills. The better your notes are, the faster you will learn. Knowing how to take and accurate notes will help you remember concepts, gain a deeper understanding of the topic, and develop meaningful learning skills. So before you learn a new topic, make sure you learn different strategies for note-taking, such as the Cornell method, which helps you organize class notes into easily digestible summaries. Whatever method you use, some basic tips for note-taking include listen and take notes in your own words, leave spaces and lines between 
main ideas so you can revisit them later and add more information. Develop a consistent system of abbreviation and symbols to save time. Write in phrases, not complete sentences. Learn to pull out important information and ignore trivial information. 8. Use brain breaks to restore focus. Information overload is a real thing. In order to learn something new, our brain must send signal to our sensory receptors to save the new information. But stress and overload will prevent your brain from effectively processing and storing information. When we are confused, anxious, or feeling overwhelmed, our brain effectively shut down. You can see this happen when students listening to long detailed lecture zone out and stop paying attention to what's being said. They simply aren't be able to effectively conduct that information into the their memory banks so learning shut down. The best way to combat this is by taking a brain break or simply shifting your activity to focus on something new. Even a 5 minute break can relieve brain fatigue and help you refocus. 9. Learn information in multiple ways. When you use multiple ways to learn something, you will use more region of the brain to store information about that subject. This is makes that information more interconnected and embedded in your brain. It basically creates a redundancy of knowledge within your mind, helping you truly learn the information and not just memorize it. You can do this by using different media to stimulate different parts of the brain, such as reading notes, reading the textbook, watching a video, and listening to a podcast or audio file on the topic. The more resource you use, the faster you will learn. 10. Study, sleep, more study. You have a big project or a major presentation tomorrow and you are not prepared. If you are like many of us, you stay up too late trying to cram beforehand. Surely your hard work will be rewarded even if you are exhausted the next day, right? However, that's not the most efficient way for our brain to process information. Research shown a strong connection between sleep and learning. It seems that getting some shut eye is an important element in bolstering how our brain remembers something. Deep sleep can strengthen memories if the sleep occurs within 12 hours of learning of new information. And students who both study and get plenty of sleep not only perform better academically, they are also happier. 11. Multitasking doesn't work, especially for storing new information. Most people understand that multitasking is a myth. Your brain really can't pay equal attention to two tasks at the same time. But few people apply that insight to learning. In addition to breaking a task down into individual steps, be sure to devote your full energy to each step on its own. When you get distracted, it takes really 25 minutes to return your focus to the original task. Over time, multitasking could mean you only gain partial understanding of various different skills or concepts without a of all knowledge or mastery of any. 12. Stay hydrated. We know we should drink water because it's good for us, it's good for our skin and our immune system, and it keeps our body functioning optimally. But staying hydrated is also key to our cognitive abilities. Drinking water can actually make us smarter. According to one study, students who took water with them to an examination room performed better than those who didn't. Dehydration, on the other hand, can seriously affect our mental function. When you fail to drink water, your brain has to work harder than usual. 13. Teach someone else. Research shows it's definitely true that those who teach speed up their learning and retain more. Even just thinking that you will need to teach someone can make you learn more effectively. According to the researchers, when teachers prepare to teach, they tend to seek out key points and organize information into a coherent structure. Our results suggest that students also turn to these type of effective learning strategies when they expect to teach. 14. Mistakes should be celebrated and studied. Being perfect is overrated. The entire point of learning is to make attempts, fail, and find a lesson about where you went wrong. In 2014, a study of motor learning found the brain has more or less reserved space for the mistakes we make. Later, we can recruit those memories to do better next time. If parents teach kids never to make mistakes or shun them when mistakes happen, kids end up missing a wealth of knowledge. 15. Being optimistic helps you succeed. Stressing kids out with negative reinforcement can get them stuck in a mental route, filling them with self-doubt and anxiety, both of which are toxic for learning. Anxiety precludes you from exploring real solutions and real thought patterns that will come up with solutions, says Harvard Business School professor. Decades of positive psychology research suggests that you will become more successful in just about anything we try to do if we approach it with an open mind and see tangible room for improvement. Parents should teach kids to see learning as exploration. It will help give them a sense of determination, which they can manufacture into greed when the going gets tough. 16. Speed reading can condense learning times. The premise is simple. If you can read faster, you can learn faster. Though you might think speed reading takes a lot of effort, programs like Spreader pick up the pace gradually to make it feel manageable. By training your brain to process words more quickly, you get accustomed to reading entire strings of words rather than imagining each one individually, which slows you down. 
17. Say out loud what you want to remember. Research shows that compared to reading or thinking silently, the act of speech is a quite powerful mechanism for improving memory for selected information. According to scientists, learning and memory benefit from active involvement. When we add an active measure or a production element to a word, that word becomes more distinct and long-term memory, and hence more memorable. In short, while mentally rehearsing is good, rehearsing out loud is even better. Resume of our video. 1. Connect what you learn with something you know. 2. Use mnemonic devices. 3. Practice every day what you learn. 4. Play brain games. 5. Skills are easier to pick up as an individual part. 6. Writing down what you have learned helps cement it in your mind. 7. Have effective note-taking skills. 8. Use brain breaks to restore focus. 9. Learn information in multiple ways. 10. Study sleep more study. 11. Multitasking doesn't work, especially for storing new information. 12. Stay hydrated. 13. Teach someone else. 14. Mistakes should be celebrated and studied. 15. Being optimistic helps you succeed. 16. Speed reading can condense learning times. 17. Say out loud what you want to remember. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive all our news. If you learned something new today, then give the video a like and tell us in comments which step you like it more. And here's some others great videos I think you will enjoy. Just click on the left or on the right. Mass Pro. Better mind, better life.